Praise Jesus Church of Christ. This moment allow me to start by thanking. Let me extend my gratitude to God. Uh, God mighty God. God who is powerful. We thank you. We thank you for you are with us. And you blessed us. But this word that God gave us. In Genesis chapter 18 verse 14. That at the appointed time. Is there anything too hard for Genesis chapter 18 verse 14. It is a mighty word that God revealed to us in a time like this. A word that signifies the times we are in. Abraham, Abraham God strengthened him. God gave him the power of the word and God showed him who it truly is. God showed him that he isn't alone. God showed him that he's with the one who sent him. And God told him something great that I find in Genesis 12 verse 1 to 3. God told him two things. He showed him the stars in the sky and showed him that his uh, children shall come to and showed him the sand on the seashore and told him that his children shall be compared to the sand or the stars in the sky. He gave him a second word and told him whoever shall curse you I shall curse you and whoever will fight against you I shall fight against you. These were the words that Abraham arose This man arose in this journey, this journey of his calling, this journey of a promise, this journey of obeying, this man obeyed and he arose. He arose without knowing where he was going, but he had listened to a voice and he had put it into action. And then he arose. I'm not going to go into so much history. But the life he led or the life he went through when <laughs> he, was he went through different humps. He went through things that were discouraging to him. I would like to tell one who's following us that in this journey we go through daily. We go through different things. We meet different things disease. We encounter gossip. We encounter discouraging things. But we do not fall because we have spoken with the king. We have spoken with the king who fulfills. We have spoken with the king who is great. Abraham went through all that. And whatever you are going through yourself today. But he wasn't discouraged. Because he was with the Lord Almighty. And then the time uh, was long. When time lengthened, when he reached 90 years, then he had a dialogue, him and his wife. Sarah and Abraham converse. Sarah told Abraham and told him you're old and I am old myself. Uh, we are not reaching what God spoke to us. We have a maidservant called Haggai if you lay with her, you will call him such that we can give an inheritance to the child of Haggai. Can't you accept this? Abraham was an obedient man. He obeyed his wife and it was fulfilled. As they gave birth to a child, a son, a son called Ishmael between him and Haggai. And he was uh, between him and Haggai, an Egyptian woman 
But I would like to tell you, even if Abraham saw that, even if Sarah looked at that, even if they had paved their own way, it isn't what God wanted. God was looking way beyond. God was looking beyond 90 years of age. God was looking beyond 900 years. And he said, God is a God who fulfills. He is a God who executes. When time came, the word uh, we've read in this uh, verse uh, Genesis chapter 18 Abraham received visitors or guests house, unusual guests he was a man with so much love He's a he was a man who was giving he's a man who had so much love he was a special man he saw three men this, he called upon these men. They were tired. He told them that come to my home such that I can give you some water and food. And he called these men and they obeyed Abraham. When they reached Abraham's home, Abraham did something I'm going to tell you that made God fulfill that made God fulfill what he had told Abraham, that made God do so many works. Thereafter, listen to the miracle. Listen to what Abraham did. He hurried off and told his servants. He told them that go to my livestock and see a tender calf and that tender calf go and kill it for my men and bring milk and need some need a meal for them such that they can eat and drink and they're satisfied. Then uh, the, his servants did what they were told. Yes, it is possible they cooked for them. But the word of God tells me eaten and drunk one of his men say, asked Abraham for his wife. And the other told him. He told uh, Abraham responded and said, my wife is he called upon Sarah. Sarah stood in the doorway. Stood in the doorway of the tent. And the angel of the Lord told him a great word. This word that we are going by. This is what the angel told Sarah. And told him by this time next year. You shall have a son. Sarah could not could not believe it because of her situation because of the time she was going through at times we're in hard times and then these times ring us out there are times that we are in those that you're working with they ring you out or they discourage you and they show you what you believe in is useless even Sarah Sarah was ringed out. Sarah had no hope because of her age. Then the angel of the Lord asked her. That is when the angel of the Lord said that at the appointed time at the appointed time I want to tell you that at the appointed time everything is possible. The Bible says at the appointed time I shall come back upon you and your wife Sarah shall conceive a son and will give birth. This is a word that was spoken by God. And it was going, it went through those three angels of the Lord. You who's listening to 
birashoboka uyu munsi it is possible today hakaba hari ibintu byagushiye intege that there are things that have discouraged you hakaba hari ibintu byakunanije there are things that are weakening you ariko nagira ngo nkubwire but i want to tell you hajabi imana ivuga ngo rihere there is no word that god speaks hajabi imana ivuga ngo rihere and it fails kubera ni imana ikiza because he's a god that heals ni imana iruhura a god that consoles imana inezeza a god that gives us joy imana ya mashimwe a god full of joy imana yimbaraga he's a god full of power kubera ivuga ijambo because when he speaks ivuga ijambo yize ubwayo he speaks because he knows his self-sufficient. He doesn't need support. He doesn't say that when I fail, I'm going to acquire support from God. So. He is a God who is self-sufficient. He is a God that is great. Brethren, on the different social media platforms, believe this word. The word that God gave us. For God shall fulfill God shall resurrect what is dead. God shall renew what had gone. He is a God that is almighty. Brethren of the cross, you who is following us. It means one who's delivered is one who's been bound. Many things have been bound. When you go to the different economies there is a depression in them. When you go to education there is a depression. There is a slump also in the in different businesses. All things have gone down. All things have been shaken. Uh, nations are crying. They are going in statistics. And you find that some nations for some nations to go back to the level they were at. It needs at, at least 10 years. But I want to tell those who are following us. This doesn't amaze God. Because the word told me in Isaiah 46 verse 10 that I start from the beginning and I speak of the end. It means that the end everything has a beginning and everything has an end. I tell those who are listening to me there are many things that shall be delivered. There are many things that shall be healed. There are many things that must be Because there is no word that God speaks and it is and it fails. Praise God. I tell those who are in different callings. When we speak of callings, we talk about many things. When you read uh, Psalms chapter 124, uh, this book. It is a song of uh, David. It is a song that David sang while he was in Thanksgiving. He said great words that I'm going to tell you. Starting from the second verse. Psalms 124. Uh, there are great words that David said. That if God wasn't on my side, my enemies would have devoured me. The sea would have overflown with me. The, the erosion would have gone over me. The reason for this uh, word was because he thought of the words that God had told the work that he had He saw the things that God had done in his life. He saw the things that God had done for him. And and he found that he had become the king of Israel. <laughs> Yet there were wise men. <laughs> he found God had healed him. <laughs> healed him from Philistines. <laughs> Saved him from Goliath. <laughs> Saved him from hunger. <laughs> uh, Saved him from Saul. <laughs> Saved him from the different battles he encountered. When he came to this point of uh, Psalm 124, 
he thought of the miracles and wonders God had done and was full of thanksgiving. When you think far away, when you think of the works God did, when you think the works God did upon your life, when you think about where you came from, there is no reason for you not to thank God. When David thought about it, then he made a, a, a song, a song of thanksgiving, a song speaking of the, of the works and wonders. I want to tell you the reason why people tire it's because we forget where we came from. And yet the wise men say whoever forgets their starting point shall not know where their, their destination. This is why today where we always remember where he took us from and we always remember we reminisce and then we thank him. We speak of his greatness. You who's following us this David went through such a life because God had spoken about it God had predicted this before time and had spoken a great word about it. listen to what God spoke about in Psalms 89 Psalms 89 verse 34 verse 34 Amen. But I will not uh, but I will not violate my covenant or alter what my lips lips have uttered. Once for all I have sworn by my holiness, I will not lie to David. Praise the name of Jesus. This is a great word that God spoke about uh, David. That his mercy shall not leave David. I want to tell all those who are following us that it is not by your wisdom nor by your power nor by your family background nor by your friends for you to be alive today because of this pandemic of COVID-19 many people have died that had wealth that had possessions great nations were weakened or discouraged great nations failed but I want to tell you this great word that what sustains us is this word of mercy. This is a word that God told David and told him that my mercy shall be upon you all the days of your life. I shall not violate I shall not change the word I spoke. These are words that God told David because he had stuck with God. He was a man whose life based on the Almighty. His hope was God. But at the appointed time, at the appointed time, at the appointed time, God delivered David. David was delivered. And he became the king of Israel. This is a man who's remembered. Even to still today, he's remembered. Even his grave is protected. He's guarded for he has a lot of history. He's a man who's honored. But even still today, he's still honored. Because he's a man who stuck with God. My friend. Praise the name of the Lord. May his name be glorified. The second man is a man, Jehoshaphat. When you read in the second chronicles, Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 7 they were attacked by different nations and then they had a bad story they thought that their life is over the word told me that the whole nation was discouraged the whole nation tired then they couldn't find any help but they remember the word of God 
They remember that their that their redemption came from the Lord's house. Then these people came close to God. They sought the face of the Lord. They sought help from God. The word tells me that this king, this king uh, did something great. He put three days, three days that are significant. Praise the name of Jesus. We see a woman called Hannah. This woman encountered a problem. Uh, she had a thorn. Uh, a woman called Penina. Her, her co-wife always told her words of heart. But one day this woman, when she knew so well who she was, she said, I'm tired of this life. She found that Penina wasn't her thorn. Then she decided that it is needed for me to seek the Lord's face. She came close to the prophet Eli. Then Eli sp uh, spoke something great upon her life. And Eli said that may God grant the request of your heart. Hannah withheld this miracle. Then when time came, at the appointed time, she gave birth to a son called Samuel. This is a woman that the Lord delivered. Whoever is listening to us, is it illness that is giving you sorrow? Is it poverty that is paining you? Is it sorrow? Is it gossip? I want to tell you there is nothing that can separate you from the love of Christ. Nothing can separate you from the king. Because our king is the God who did all that for this man. Who came upon uh, Abraham and gave them a son. Who came upon Han and gave her a child. Who came upon Abraham and delivered him and saved him from various battles? He's still the same king. I would like to prophesy upon your life. I want to prophesy. It is possible things have failed, but this word that God gave us in Genesis chapter 18, verse 14, that at the appointed time, is there anything too hard for God? I want to tell you there is nothing too hard. We are going to pray with you. Please follow me and look upon me and believe this word. Believe the word with yours. Withhold that your business can be revived. Know that the fear that you had can be eradicated. Know that you can conceive even if you are barren. Because he's a God that is able to do all. This is what the man of God called Job said. That I know that you can do all. And there's nothing that can come between you and your plan. Friends of the cross, body of Christ. Whoever is listening to us. Upon different continents. And even in our nation of Rwanda. Uh, please listen to this word and believe in it. Listen to this prayer and please stand by this word. Let us pray. Our God, our God of glory, God of power, our God who delivers, our God who delivers, you deliver what was dead, a God who's over all, a God who performs miracles, a God who dries up the sea. A God who dries up the sea. Uh, the God who dried up the Red Sea. Where the, uh, the nation of Israel uh, was bound and that uh, day Today I call upon you that you may manifest, manifest in these hearts, in these people that have different trials. Many people are like the nation of Israel that have no solution, that do not have a way but you're a God who has violence. You're a God who gives you a solution. You're a God who looks for your own solution. We command in the mighty name of Jesus. May this word that you get whoever shall believe may he deliver his life. Wherever
Abraham and Sarah. Just as you came upon Abraham and Sarah. May you come upon this parent. This woman who's been crying. She wanted she wants to I prophesy a child upon her. I prophesy a child upon her. Receive a child in the name of Jesus. Receive a child in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I, I pray for whoever is sick. For your word tells me in Psalms 103 verse that you're a God who forgives us and heals our diseases. I, I pray for whoever was ill, whatever illness, whoever was ill, I prophesy upon them. Receive healing. Receive healing. Jesus of Nazareth. Heal whoever was bound whoever was depressed and no life, was was at the end I call upon your word may your word change may them. your word heal them I call I pray for economy you're a God who delivers you're a God who delivers at different senates may you show manifest your power manifest your power and may you reminisce revive whatever was Oh, we take a mighty God. Imani Komeye. A mighty God. Imani Hambaye. Your great God. Dasenge I pray for the church. Itorero Yahweh Mami. I pray for your body. Itorero Yahweh Yesu. I pray for your body. Wafiri Gorogota. That you died at Calvary. How undi Mufujizi? Nobody is a spokesperson. How undi Murengizi? There is no other savior. How undi Mutabazi? No other savior. Niwa wenyi Itorero. You're the only helper. Niwa wenyi Itorero. You're the owner of the church. Ekimbara Gaza we zigaragare. May your power manifest upon the church. Zigaragare mi Itorero. Manifest upon the whole body. Upon different continents. May your word be upon the them. And your heart be up, your hand be upon them. For your God who supports them. Thank you, Jesus. Bless anyone. Bless anyone. Bless anyone. Bless anyone. Bless anyone. Those who followed us on different platforms. May you bless them. Bless them. And may you answer their prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 May God bless you on our Amen. Behalf. May God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God tremendously Amen. give you life. And may God escort you. And may, and may he fulfill it upon your life. Amen. 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 Be blessed. Amen. Amen.